born and raised in the south side of San Antonio, Texas. I come from a middle class working family. I am fourth generation uh, Mexican American. Um, my great grandfather, Jose Maria Valdez, was the first painter, the first artist that I ever met uh, through his canvases. Um, he was a, an amazing painter from Mexico City. Um, I left San Antonio uh, at the age of 18 and went to pursue my art education at the Rhode Island School of Design and graduated in 2000. The human figure for me it, um, remains to be the most important subject in my work uh, for various reasons. Um, I've always been drawn to the figure for its forms, for its relationship to form and design, uh, basic principles of drawing. Uh, it's, it's a really spectacular uh, object in itself. Uh, beyond that, um, the figure, for me, I'm convinced, is um, one of the most essential, endless, and universal subjects um, that uh, any artist can uh, set out to capture. The image in this print is based off of an earlier, previous work that I did in 2012 that was from a series titled Excerpts for John. Uh, the series was in honor uh, and in tribute to my friend, my childhood best friend, uh, John Holt Jr., who was a second lieutenant uh, and a combat medic who served in Iraq. Uh, John returned home in a flag draped casket, and this image is uh, loosely based off of how I remember uh, seeing him that morning. Um, as the horses were drawing the carriage in, uh, it was a very rainy and cold morning, almost out of like a sort of graphic novel or out of a movie scene. In 2000, and I think in 2004 or 5, President George Bush uh, passed a piece of legislature or a bill stating that um, the American media was not allowed to uh, display uh, images of um, American dead soldiers returning back home from overseas um, because this is uh, still something that's very personal to me because of my experience of uh, having lived through the passing of my friend John. But it, uh, for me as the artist, it goes far beyond that. Um, I feel like it is, I have the opportunity and uh, the responsibility um, of showcasing these images, getting them out to the public, not only to tell the story of my friend John, but to tell the story of uh, the bodies that are still continuing to come home um, that nobody's really talking about. I first printed it at Coronado Studios, um, I think in the year 2002. Uh, Sam had invited me up to um, the studios I had never printed before and I was very excited because I, I knew I had always heard about Coronado Studios I knew a lot of the artists that were in and out of here throughout the past uh, few years and so I felt very honored uh, to be a part of that legacy um, I've now printed at Coronado I think a number of times about four or five different occasions throughout the past decade um, and it's a very um, it's a very Proud, uh, well, I'm very proud to, to help continue the legacy. I really enjoy working uh, with serigraphy because it's such a challenge. It, it sort of deconstructs the way that I work as a painter. Um, you really kind of have to flip uh, the way you evaluate imagery, the way you compose imagery. Um, so it forces me to sort of work backwards, um, all the while sort of projecting uh, what the end result is going to be. Um, I really, another aspect uh, that I really enjoy about serigraphy is uh, that it forces me to loosen up. Um, my, my, I have a tendency to be you know, very crafted and very uh, uh, tightly rendered in my paintings and drawings. I love the looseness it allows um, me to capture, and I and I really like the uh, the graphicness of um, of the actual process and, and the product of um, of these prints. And uh, so, in this case, uh, the print that I'm currently working on, I'm actually my aim was to actually try to capture um, an image that is based 
loosely off of um, the graphic novels that I read as a kid. Those were some of the um, the art um, influences that it, uh, really took or had had such a strong effect on me as a, as a young artist, and uh, it's something that's, that's really kind of stayed with me to this day. Being an artist in residence at Coronado Studios is always an amazing experience. It's always a lot of fun uh, working with um, some of the best staff. It, it's always been uh, a great working atmosphere. I'm all, I will always come in very motivated. Uh, I always get um, very ambitious when I'm here um, because of the opportunity to really produce some high-end print work. Um, and I always walk out exhausted having uh, worked very hard um, in the studios, so it's it's something that I always look forward to, and it's something that I hope to continue to do in the, in the next few years. Mm -hmm.